Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this episode, we are gonna go through few bugs that are happening in the game in Dawn of Ragnarok, in Ostara Festival, and just in the base game with Ereda. So I was able to find some footage just before I did buy the last thing from Kara's shop. I'm not sure if you have seen this ever or not, but after buying the last thing and going back to the shop once again, we should see this. And yeah. This was the last time I did see this selection. So, platinum ingots, nickel, tungsten, iron, leather, titanium, in chains for the tokens. So, there would be actually be a point for grinding these. And what I believe, I believe this shop is acting same as any other shop. So, every time you level up or just wait around in the game in the same area, in the same map. This should be reset, but still, my shop is completely empty when I'm trying to go there now. So, the Karas domain, Karas shop in Dawn of Ragnarok, that part is over, so let's move to Reda one. So, you might have been experiencing and seeing that we have missed a few items after the latest update, the update 1.5.1. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that one, but I think Master of Challenge Pack 2 has something to do with it, because usually there was a workaround for playing the settings, the combat settings especially, setting them on default and other tricks that usually did help, I will leave a video link in the pinned comment for that video. You can try those, but I don't promise at this point anything. Seems like the Master of Challenges, they did mess up the difficulty system and the game things that we are playing on the higher or lower difficulty than default and now we are missing the dailies, the quests and the items. I believe that is the case. So, doesn't matter if you are seeing a nano member of the Thousand Eyes, if you reload, if you change the difficulty or even visiting Reda in other maps like Swart Alfheim, Ireland or Frankia. So, at least for me, nothing of those have been working. And let me know in the comments down below if you have figured out how we can actually work around and get our quests and dailies every day guaranteed. And finally, let's move to the Ostara festival. So you should see this cutscene after loading into the game, but we will dive a little bit deeper after this one. Ah, good, Eivor's here. Now we can settle this. What seems to be troubling you? This stick in the mud doesn't want to celebrate Ostara. It's the equinox. The veil between our worlds will be dangerously thin. We need to prepare. Why not both? Prepare for the equinox and celebrate Ostara. I see you've already started on the decorations. <laughs> of course we have. Here's what we do. We've also organized some new events and brought back some favorites from you. <laughs> All this noise and merriment will attract the spirits. I will aid you in protecting the settlement, Alvis. Good. Find me after dark. And before he explains the egg hunt to you, just know I was coerced. Now then, there is much to do. Novid will need your help decorating, and Maida might need some words of encouragement. She didn't take being crowned the May Queen very well. That is a lot. And this egg hunt? Oh, it's already started. Speak with me when you are ready to start the hunt. So, after this, you should see everything like this in your settlement. And yeah, I did knew this was not a good sign. When the cutscene was over, I did get a pop-up that the festival is ending soon. So, literally a couple of minutes after it has started, Ubisoft please fix it so everyone can play and get their rewards like the new weapons and 150 opals from the festival shop. And no, you cannot grind the opals. I did try to go back into previous save file and buy them again. Yeah, I was able to buy, but they were not added to my opal count. So, sorry Wolfpack, there is no way of getting those extra opals that way. If everything has been working just okay for you, and you want to see proofs, 
that the festival is packed, I will leave a Halilo Gaming's video link in the description box down below. Yeah, that thing is really messed and the comments they have been getting, the comments I have been getting and other posts in Reddit, in Facebook, in YouTube. Yeah, there is many people that cannot interact with the NPCs. There is no festival at all. So Ubisoft, please fix the game. And beside the game, please fix the Redas, quote unquote, well, quote, random selection. And I think we all know that thing is far from random. Yeah, that is intentionally made so sucky. So we actually will spend our money on the Helix packs that in my opinion are way too overpriced. They are basically cosmetics, it's not pay to win, so you are not getting any advantage over other players when buying the sets. Just cool cosmetics, cool little perks, effects. So, so many things wrong in the game at the moment, don't get me wrong, this game is awesome, this game is beautiful, but still, there is ups and downs, just like in every game. I love the game, but still I hate the bugs and I hate when players have to experience those. For now, thanks to all members of the channel and let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.